year four and year five hold up their beautiful instruments that they made with recycled objects. <gasps> We're going to do a fantastic show and the year four here from Shapler and the year five and Harry Gosling are going to be part of our show today and they've learnt rhythms and songs and they're going to provide the sound effects for us so it's going to be great. In Africa they don't have clean water in that way and so a lot of children get bad tummies and a lot of them die because they don't have good water so they get very very sick but just imagine this can give a child clean water for a year and save their lives. We have three amazing musicians in the corner and I want you to meet them all. You know Abby of course and Abby is going to play the flute. Now the flute goes very very high so you might want to put your fingers in your ears when I go up to the top but I'll play you the full range. <laughs> on the violin. I can play really, really high. It's Tom playing the guitar. Or well, we can play one note at a time. <laughs> Once upon a time, on the banks of the River Thames, in the city of London, lay a place called Tower Hamlets. London had always had rats, but they had never been a danger until the rats began to multiply. there stood a tall man dressed in colourful clothing and with a long patchwork cloak. I freed your town of beetles and bats, the stranger announced, and for a thousand pounds I'll rid you of your rats. Out they scampered from doors, windows and gutters, rats of every size. As he played, the stranger marched down to the river and straight into the water up to his waist. Behind him swarmed the rats and every one was drowned and swept away by the current of the river. The piper went to the town hall to try to claim his payment. 50,000 pounds, exclaimed the councillors. Never! You must pay him now! Louder! You must pay him now! Drawn as if by magic, this time it was the children of all sizes that flocked at his heels. Walking through London, what do I see? I can see a raven looking at me Walking through London, what do I see? I can see a pigeon looking at me Why don't we all work together to get our children home safely? Between us all, surely we could find enough to make the whole amount so you have the coins, I see. I knew that if you thought of a way to work together, you could see the right thing to do. Now you have learnt the value of caring about each other. And I have shown you that the most important things in life have nothing to do with money. All of the children came running over the hill into the square and the townspeople wept 
and sang for joy. Woo!